Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So, big engulfing bar, or do we have buyers coming in down the bottom here? Uh, only time will tell, and as far as I'm concerned, if we break above this high of the week, that would indicate uh, that we're having some buyers coming in. At the moment, we have a, a bit of structure here, and I don't, I haven't really looked to see uh, there is uh, seriously bit of structure here where we are you can see there it is there and if I come to the daily you can see quite a bit of support to be found in this area here so that's between 13640 and 29762 and if I come to current time you can see that's exactly where the buyer stepped in note the oscillators on the daily as well okay so let's just focus on today so we have a range bar slap bang between those two levels I've just given you okay so we've had a range bar we had a break above 3122 that is brewing at the moment so 29762 is the downside here so that is the structure we're coming up into this zone here I suspect this is going to give way 3196 uh, this is the area to pay attention to, 36.40. So we come down through the time frames. Nothing really changes. Uh, one thing that does change is this range bar. And uh, this is just something which I have uh, done a bit of back testing on over, over the few year, over the last couple of years. And often when you get a range bar like that and you get a break and a retest, you need to treat that as a range. So on a lower time frame, that was a range. So in that in the three hour time frame, we just ranged up and down. So technically it is a range. So if you look at it this way, we've had a break of the range, we're busy with a retest of the range. What is the most logical move? Another leg down. And that leg down should take us to 29. Uh, 29374 let's get rid of that that is the the structure that we have at the moment bear in mind that we could come into roughly this area here as well for a rejection and that's 3375 so now when you get down to the hour and the 15 minute it should be a lot clearer so you can see we've also got an hour range bar here as well in actual fact let's just see where that takes us so i've got an hour range bar takes us just short of this level to the downside so um two time frames two timeline uh, two range bars we are in a downward trend look at the oscillators starting to to indicate a nice decent setup brewing as well so um, that kind of my play at the moment and it could happen anytime during the day i think um, the dax has also look got a similar kind of setup so i suspect everything's going to follow suit uh, if we can reject this area that would be the first one 3196 obviously not now we want to wait for the um, european open so it may just squirt up above here come in and sort of hover out in the middle or even come as high as this at 33.75 and then we would be looking for some structure as soon as we see the structure we're looking for a a move back to the downside so we're looking for an engulfing bar inside bar pin bar off one of these levels and that should indicate a move to the downside first target is going to be 29.762 which was a low of yesterday a break of that then you're looking at 29.374 um, but just a word of warning don't sit and hold this thing you know once you get a good entry take a profit and uh, bank it move on wait for the next day because it is the end of the week so what you're going to see is a bit of profit taking from the bears so that should give us a a weekly bar that'll have a bit of a tail to the end to the bottom so sometime in the session um, and just depends how how good their profits are so if the profits are really good they'll probably do it before lunchtime in the US uh, and if their profits aren't really that good they may hold it for a little bit longer and then sort of go for afternoon drinks rather than lunch 
So uh, just uh, keep that in the back of your mind. Um, it is the end of the week and it's been a really volatile week. So you should expect traders to to start cashing in, taking some profits and uh, waiting for the next week because uh, I don't think many people are going to be holding over the weekend, especially not shorts. Anyway, hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you next week. Uh, cheers for now.